Hi, this is Vicky with Condi Systems Tech Support, and I want to show you how to make a uh, watermark in Corel for those people who have images that, uh, say, for instance, they don't want copied or someone to be able to um, to get and use in something else. Um, I have a technique for creating watermark and um, this is the way I do it. There may be other ways to do it, but I think um, uh, this is a good way to do it. So if you um, have an interest in t uh, using this technique to put on your images so that other people can't take your images and do anything else with them, this is how you would go about it. Uh, I have an image here I'm just going to play around with. This is uh, uh, just something that uh, we can use. Nothing that I've really designed, just a photograph and for the purposes of this video it will work creating a watermark say for instance I have a company name I'm gonna use my text tool and uh, I'm gonna type something like uh, I'm just gonna make something up um, I'm actually I'll just use our company name I'll just say C-O-N-D-E oops Condi dot Condi I am a G E S Condi images. Um, let's see, back up to this. Uh, C O N D E I M A G E S dot com. Okay, that's just a made up name. Now I need to f choose a font that uh, that I will probably use permanently. So let's just uh, let's go in here and just pick something. Um, We'll choose something like this. This will work. And so um, I probably will make it white. And now what I want to do is um, use this. Let me give it a, a border for now so that we can see it. So I'm just going to left click over here as a, in the uh, black and create a black border and now what I should have is a black border. I'll make this a little bigger so that you, uh, you guys can see what we're working with. So, um, better yet, let's just make it yellow, get rid of the border. Uh, let's just make it something we can see for now. Okay, so now I have something that says condiimages.com. That's uh, my pretend name. And what I want to do is create a a watermark or a stamp so that no one can take my images and this is one way to go about it so I have uh, my condiimages.com selected and now I'm going to create a transparency so I'm going to left click on my transparency tool if I don't see it here if I just scroll down it's it's the uh, fifth one up and just hold my left key over it and now I can see that my transparency tool is in there you may see some of these on the forefront but your transparency tool uh, will be hidden if it's not shown here, okay? So I've chosen that. It looks like the wine glass. And now, um, once I choose a tool from the left, uh, I get this menu box up here that is uh, unique to the tools that I choose on the left. So that gives me more options within that tool to use, which is great. Uh, so now I'm going to drop this down. I'm going to use a uniform. And what the uniform does is it creates a transparency that is consistent across uh, the whole word condiimages.com. So um, when I've chose that, I can see that I have a, um, uh, it's kind of like an occupancy, a percentage of how light or dark I want it. So I can go lighter or darker, okay? So we're going to go, for now, we're going to go a little dark. We're going to drop it down to 33%. And I'm gonna, uh, oops, sorry. I'm gonna actually grab this and put it somewhere in the center here. Okay. So what I also want to do is probably to go across the image in an angle. I'm just gonna. You see, I have this bounding box here, and if I just click one more time on this little X in the center, I get these uh, rotation. Uh, options. So I'm just going to go over here and grab one of the ones at the top right, left click and hold, and now I can turn this. 
okay so I can turn this and um, so it goes at a angle across my image and now I want to make it bigger so to get out of the rotation that I have here these arrows I'm just going to left click one more time and that gives me my boxes back so again if I left click once I get the rotation if I left click again it goes back and forth to uh, rotation to just the bounding box now I'm going to make it bigger so I'm going to spread it kind of across here and uh, what that allows me to do is to cover the whole image and I'm going to make it white so I'm going to click on the white and that's a little darker than I want so I'm going to go back to my transparency tool and I'm going to make this lighter so it just it's more of a fade in the back so now as you can see uh, it's a real light fade which is a watermark or a stamp across my image and um, now I've created a way that should anyone try to use my image from my web page or wherever I place this image they have this uh, watermark to deal with and uh, so to make it stay so that it's part of my image I'm going to left click on my pick tool again and I'm going to grab this whole the image and the text that I've created Now I can do this one of two ways as you can see I've already got the text selected but I'm going to click outside of it uh, because now it looks like it's all one you know the image and and the text are all one together but it's not because right now as it stands it's not grouped I can move this around if I grab one or other I can make it disappear so I don't want that to happen what I want to be able to do is that if you grab one you've got the other so clicking back outside off the page to deselect it I'm going to grab both the image and the text and I can do that by just left clicking and holding my left click mouse down and just dragging it across and getting all or I can and I'm going to click outside the box to deselect it again or I can do a control A and that's a hot key for control all meaning anything on my screen it's going to grab so control A will grab everything on my screen and together at one time and now I, what I can do is I can group it so if I just right click somewhere on this document and then left click click on group now it's all one if I grab this I've grabbed the I've grabbed both see what I mean so I'm just clicking and I'm dragging so now it's grouped together so now I have a a watermark on my image so that it's protected and I know that no one can use it or alter it in any way because it has my name on it or my company name and uh, that lets me know and uh, should someone try to use it and um, then they can't so also what you can do with this having having done that I'm gonna right click again and ungroup it uh, if you want to save this watermark you basically could just uh, you know click on it take the image out um, and let's just uh, say for instance uh, let's just make it darker so we can see it so now I can save it if I just want to save this so that I can incorporate it into other images in the future I can just do a file save and um, I can call it uh, um, you know I could put it somewhere in a folder for now on my desktop and I can just call it um, you know my watermark you know and then I have it for the next image I don't have to recreate it I can just go grab it resize it do what I want to with it so that's how I would do that and um, just to go back to where we were so again um, I hope this has helped I do have one other thing I want to mention should uh, there is a website uh, where you can go if you want to get even more particular about your images and more protective should I say there's uh, there's a website and it's called and I'll type it here make it big enough so you can see it and it's called uh, D I G I M A digimark.com 
and you can actually go and purchase um, a way so that you can track your images should someone use it so on this website you can go and I think there's a, um, a fee you can pay for an actual uh, way of tracking your images should anybody use it and I did want to mention that so um, it's a more protective way uh, for you people photographers and, and people who create designs that don't want uh, these designs getting in the wrong hands you have a way of tracking it so I also encourage you to visit visit that web page if you want to get a little more protective about your images again my name is Vicki I'm with Condi Systems and I hope that this video helps and thank you as always for your time